Timeless Haul and Try On, my first lookbook of 2022, featuring H&M, Coz, Farfetch, Cezanne, Bowdoin, Oasis Fashion and Jaeger. First up in this haul and try on to a pair of trousers that I quickly fell in love with. I think the label was off within about 30 seconds of trying these on. I really love the fit. So these are actually a classic bestseller piece with the Frankie shop and I've had my eye on them for a while, but I finally spoiled myself and I definitely don't regret it. The fit is just a dream. The pleats are perfectly placed. And although yes, I was so eager to show you all, I haven't had time to take them up yet. So just a minor fix on the length is needed. Farfetch have very kindly sponsored this portion of the lookbook and offered me to choose a couple of pieces from their new collection. Excited, just a touch. And I quickly added a few items to basket that I've had on my wish list for a while. The first of which being one stunning pair of loafers by Italian American brand Mansur Gavriel. These for me are timelessness personified. I love them. And I've no doubt I shall be wearing them with just about everything in the coming months. Today I've styled them simply with jeans, a t-shirt and a classic grey blazer. And not only do I feel hugely comfortable, but it feels like a really effortlessly chic look. So along with those blues and greys as before, that biscotti tone of my loafers works just as nicely against navy too. Here you can see I've styled them with another favourite pair of tailored trousers and a simple crew neck jumper. I feel elevated and elegant, but this unfussy style really suits me and my lifestyle. So this is very much me in a typical everyday uniform. Now I've had these sunglasses on my wish list since the moment they were released, so I'm very, very excited to now own a pair. Designed by British brand Cutler & Gross and handcrafted in Italy, their collection exudes effortless cool. And if you're in any doubt about the value for money, I still have the first pair I ever bought from them over 20 years ago. What I personally love about Farfetch is the sheer volume of different brands that they stock from all different price points. As you'd hope, I do have a 10% off discount code for you all, so don't forget to click the link in the description box below at the end of this video and take a look at all my new in favorites. Now to a new in blazer that I bought from H&M the other day. I spotted this a while ago, so I was really keen to try it on in person. It's double-breasted with notch lapels, it's made from a blend of viscose, and it retails at $24.99. Now I opted for the medium so that I could create a bit of an oversized look as per the fashion trends for 2022. But you could of course go true to size if you want it more fitted. Styling wise, I would say a blazer could go with pretty much everything, but my personal favorite and probably my go-to for a casual chic and timeless look would just be with jeans and a simple white tee. I really try not to overthink my blazer outfits. Often the most simple looks are my favorite. This is the first time in a while that I've shopped at Oasis and I'm really glad I did. They have some very pretty pieces at the minute that are just my cup of tea. This delicate white blouse being one of them. To me, a shirt like this doesn't really look right if it's sitting too tight. So I sized up to a 12 to give it more movement. I love those gentle balloon sleeves just falling midway down my forearms and the trim details give it a little bohemian spirit. This first look shares a little white on white for spring but I also styled it the other day on my Insta page with my high-waisted flares and tan details. I can't decide which is my favorite. Perhaps the denim is a little more dressed up for certain occasions and the tonal look would be great once we can wear sandals again. If you have a favorite, don't forget to let me know in the comments section below. In fairness, I'm pretty sure that I'll be styling it both ways a lot this year. Oasis fashion again with this pretty embroidered blouse that I chose in navy. At the time of creating this video, there was also a great sale going on at Oasis too. So I bought this one for just £23.20. I should probably go back and buy it in the white as well. It's made from 100% cotton and has this very pretty detail over the flared sleeves. And I love that slightly bobbled texture of the fabric. Unlike the last blouse, I went true to size with this one and the more fitted shape works well, I think. Naturally, a top like this is really elegant and timeless in itself, so it could be styled in so many different ways. 
At the moment, I'll be wearing it with jeans or tailored trousers, but come summer, I'm looking forward to styling it with maxi skirts and maybe even the odd mini or two. Heading off for some winter sun? Fear not, as the high street is finally starting to fill up with their new collections. Is it just me or has it felt like the longest winter ever? I cannot wait to see the sunshine again. So with that in mind, I shopped the new collection at Bowdoin for today's lookbook and found these gorgeous linen blend clots. Crisp whites are one of the huge fashion trends for 2022, but there's a sophisticated edge to these that I think would give them more longevity in your wardrobe. I also love the fact that the fabric is a little more heavyweight, removing the worry of them being see-through. Obviously, the shape is quite wide, so I like to balance out the look, keeping things quite slimline on my top half, either adding a vest top or just a simple t-shirt. Anything too fussy might overcomplicate the look, so I would say less is more for this outfit. Styling for colder days again now, and one beautiful cashmere blend set. I actually got this from the men's section at Jaeger, but as we know, there's certain pieces that the men's department do so much better. Socks, razors, and tracksuits, to name but a few. Does anyone else like to shop the men's ranges? Or maybe that's just me. I just really love the fit of these joggers and hoodie. They've got the right amount of slouch, but without feeling scruffy. And I really like when joggers taper into my ankles, giving me more shape, and dressed up with a blazer, it's very easy to make my loungewear work for everyday chic. Looking back at this footage, I'm not sure my blue trainers work with this look. Maybe white would have looked better. But these ones are so comfy, I'm just gonna roll with it. This outfit is probably a true indication of my school run style. I don't have much time, but I want to feel polished and put together. Now you might remember this style of trousers from various lookbooks of mine last summer. I loved the fit so much, I ended up buying them in both the khaki and kind of a rustic terracotta tone. So I knew it was a safe bet to treat myself to the crew. To me, they're just that perfect pair of casual trousers. Kind of like having a great pair of chinos, always timeless for your wardrobe and just ridiculously comfy. But unlike chinos, the organic cotton on this pair is slightly thicker, so it's a bit more substantial and they wash really well too. I actually wore my khaki pair right up until November last year. So far from being a summer only piece, I've actually found them hugely wearable for most of the year. So this is probably how I'll make them work while it's still cold outside. Just adding a few brown and caramel tones into the mix and my new in ankle boots, which I just love. But I shall tell you more about those properly a little bit later in this video. Jaeger has been synonymous with effortless, timeless styles since 1884, and having been acquired by Marks & Spencer last year, we can still get to shop their collections online. I personally love the natural fibers they're using, like this 100% merino jumper that I chose in black. It's the attention to those little details that really makes an item stand out for me. Obviously, the quality and the weight of wool they've used, combined with the fine rib, the boxy shape, those drop seams on the shoulders and three quarter length sleeves. All of those elements add up for one really beautiful piece that I think will be particularly handy as we move into that transitional period. Ballet flats and a classic handbag by Edinburgh based luxury brand Strathbury. It's a simple, elegant outfit that makes me feel really polished and elevated. Something a little more casual now from my mini haul at Bowdoin with this sunshine yellow striped top. I love yellow. It's really dopamine dressing for me. It always makes me smile. Plus the fact that stripes in all the colors are really on trend for spring summer too. So even better. I've styled it with my high-waisted mild flares. These are now back in stock actually for those of you who were asking. I've linked them in the description box below. Now I say mild because the nice thing about this particular pair is that although they definitely have that shape, they're not so exaggerated that you feel like you're going to a 70s fancy dress party. It's just enough. I finished off this look with my camel ankle boots and near enough matching totes that I got from Pelham Paris. If I needed another layer, a camel blazer would look great over this outfit, or maybe just add another sprinkle of that shade with a big blanket scarf. 
two for the price of one with this try on haul but I wanted to just quickly show you how nice these two Bowden items look together. Just adding a little bit of colour with those white collots takes the look in a different direction than before but still retaining that timeless quality overall. It's obviously too cold to wear those sandals outside at the minute so I've got my fingers crossed for some Easter sunshine somewhere far warmer than here. One thing I think Bowdoin are particularly great for is their classic staple pieces, like this long sleeve cotton top. I've layered my stripe knit over my shoulders and used a bobble just to hold it in place. And styled with my leather trousers, the overall look feels chic, stylish, and yet casual enough for the reality of my day-to-day -day life. Made from 96% cotton, but with 4% stretch, the fit actually feels really lovely against my skin. And I like the fact that the length is longer than most, so it won't keep riding up out of my trousers. It really annoys me when that happens with tops. A couple of accessories to share with you now that are new in my wardrobe. Firstly, my lovely little ankle boots that you got a sneak peek of before. I actually had my eye on these a while ago, but they must have sold out within a week and I was too slow. So I set a reminder for when they came back in stock, determined not to miss out the second time round. And I love them very, very much. They suit me and my lifestyle perfectly. And finally, to a new pair of earrings I have just added into my collection. You might remember I had a box of jewelry stolen last year, so I was short on accessories, and particularly as we move into spring, I do love to add a sprinkle of gold hoops into my looks. I thought these, in that slightly unusual rectangle shape, were just a little bit different, and they add a bit of sparkle to some of my classic looks. Thank you so much for watching my new lookbook for 2022. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and the pieces that I bought in this haul, and it's given you a few ideas of what's out there right now across the high street and with the designers. And on top of that, how you can style them together in a really timeless fashion. Don't forget to click the link to Farfetch in the description box below. And if you do end up spoiling yourself, do remember to use my discount code, which I've also written below. As always, I would love to hear your favorite pieces I've bought in the comments section below. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be much appreciated too. Have a great week ahead, everyone, and see you next Sunday.